I'm now ready to attach the head to the neck. I'm going to fit the head onto the neck wire. After I fit the head onto the neck wire, I'll take my clippers and just mark the wire by scoring it a little bit there. I remove my head and I'm going to clip a little bit below that mark just so my wire won't protrude through the head. And I also like to rough up this area on the neck here just by scratching and scoring it some. That gives a rough surface for the glue to grab. At that point I'll fill my hole with hot glue and all along the back of the neck here as well. And without waiting too long I'm going to fit that head onto the neck and let the hot glue glue the neck to the head there. I've got a few few seconds there to adjust it before the glue grabs it. And by making those accordion cuts, when I bend my head a little bit, the neck will not pull loose from the back of the head. At that point, I'll roll my head skin up over the head neck junction. and I'll roughly align that to where I'm going to glue it. I'll start on the bottom and I'll glue that V-notch on the bottom on the lower mandible. Do that first. Okay, to glue the head skin I'll put a little cyanoacrylate adhesive on there and I'm going to squirt it out on a little card then I'll catch that glue with my modeling tool and spread it with that. By doing it this way I'm able to precisely put it where I want it. I'll go up that whole V-notch there Then with my tweezers I'll catch the skin and move it into position. With that, I've got a few seconds here to adjust my skin before it locks tight. Once I've got that, I'll flip it over and I'll do the V on the upper mandible. On this old squall, it's not as pronounced as some birds, but um, I'll roughly align it there. Again, I'm applying the glue with the modeling tool. And I'll catch that skin and pull it into position. And I may have to hold it for just a second until it grabs. That allows me to make some fine adjustments there if I need to. Once I've got the bottom and the top done, I'll do the side. I like to do all of this in one pass if I can. I'll go around the rectus and on the side of the upper mandible. Then I'll catch my skin and put it in position. This one's wanting to kick a little ridge, so I'll mash it flat there. 
and makes a nice junction. And I'll flip it over and do the other side. piece of stray skin there I'm pulling off get that out of the way and again with my modeling tool I'm applying that glue to the head again I'll catch my skin with tweezers and pull that into position At that point, the bill and skin are glued together. And at this point, I like to go ahead and shake my eyelid. By doing it now, the epoxy sculpt is still tacky and will act as an adhesive to hold the eye ring against the eye. And by working the putty up into the front corner there, I'm able to form the area where the nictitating membrane will lie, and I'm able to tuck the lower eyelid into that. At this point, I'm going to try to get the eyelid really close to what I want it to be. I realize I may bump it some uh, further on in the mounting process, but it'll be real easy to come back and make that final adjustment. And like I said before, the epoxy sculpt will act as an adhesive to hold that against the eye. I took the lower lid. Any excess epoxy sculpt I'm working up under the skin and away from the eye. And again, I'm forming the area where the nictitating membrane lies in the front corner there. Okay, that will be really close to my final light position. I may come back at some point and um, touch it up a little bit when I'm almost finished mounting the bird. But that's got the head set in the bird and the eyes set.